Let's take a look at the new trigger probability and velocity randomization features in Ableton Live 11. I have this pattern already here. It's a drum pattern. Let's say I want to add in some hi-hat sounds. Like that. Now it's a bit too active. So what I can do is I can adjust the probability of these hits. While they're all selected, I can click over here to see the probability. At 100%, it's always going to trigger, and at 0%, it'll never trigger. So with the draw tool, I can just randomize it. And now every time it repeats, the pattern is going to be ever so slightly different. I can take this a step further by adding more hits in this pattern, just randomly throwing in some hits, making this a lot more active. And then I can deselect all the notes. And then over here again with the draw tool, I can adjust the probability of all these hits. If any note has a probability of less than 100%, you will see this little black thing in the top left corner. You can also do this for melodic elements in a production. So let's say I have a series of notes like this that are repeating again and again. Let's hit with the drum pattern. Now it's a bit too active, so I can just adjust probability of different hits individually like this. Alright, let's now talk about velocity. So going back to the drum pattern, right now all these hits are pretty much the same velocity. The highest velocity of 127. So what I'll do is I'll select all the notes and hold down command and bring everything down to a low value. Now in this velocity range option here, I can click and drag to set a range for velocity. And it acts kind of like probability, except for velocity. So for any individual hit, the velocity could be the lowest this value or all the way up to this value. This velocity range can also be a negative value. Let's bring everything up a bit higher. So this is a quick way to add some dynamics into any MIDI sequence. Now aside from setting a velocity range like this, which is constantly changing, we can also just randomize the velocity with this option here. So let me just select the hi-hats. So hi-hats are selected. Let's choose a randomization amount and hit randomize. So now the hi-hats are randomized in terms of the velocity. If you don't select any notes, the randomization applies to the entire clip. So I guess the difference between randomize and velocity range is that for velocity range, we're constantly hearing a different velocity for every hit. With randomize, you get a fixed new velocity. All right, so I hope you found these new features helpful. Stay tuned for a lot more Ableton Live tutorials.